Hi, and welcome back. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the charge stats in the new Tesla app. I have an Android phone. I've got the latest updates, and I'm going to demo and show you a screen recording of how it looks, how it works, and you're going to get to see how the charge stats you know, display and appear in the app. So let's get to it. But before we do, uh, thanks to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I have a lot of great content and a lot more great content coming up. Uh, you don't want to miss it. So please subscribe. So here we go. I'm going to now go into the app and show you how it works. Okay. So we are now in the Tesla app and I'm going to show you. So if you scroll down, you're going to see right below security. Now we have charge stats option. And if I tap it, so by default, it's going to give me the last 31 days total charged as well as total spent. Uh, now it's basing this. I'll show you in a moment on, uh, the average cost. I'm in New Jersey of charging in New Jersey, but I want to show you my breakdown. So the first thing you'll see on the screen that, it breaks it down 24% home, 5% superchargers, 71% other. I have two uh, homes and two chargers. So the other is my other home. Uh, it just so happens I have this home marked as home, but the other home is the 71%, right? So it tells you, it also tells you an estimated value of gas savings. If you look down here in the bottom section and it says 132 spent and the gas equivalent would be $354, which means I saved 222. Now, if I touch here, I can pick any day and how much I spent. So on Wednesday, January 19th, I spent, used five kilowatt hours, I spent a dollar. You know, on uh, Wednesday, January 26th, I added 83 kilowatt hours and I spent $14. So this is telling you how much you added each day and how much, you know, you spent. Now, what they're basing this on, if you scroll a little more, is down here. It says the average cost, it's assuming the home and the other are 16 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, that can be modified. Um, when you look up, go on your bill, you can find out what your charge per kilowatt hour is. You can check it. You can, I mean, you can set it in here. Now, if I hit set charging costs, I'm not going to do it right now. This will take you through step by step setting your and you'll it'll allow me to set a cost for both homes the other and the home in addition after you've set it you could come back and change it in settings here you hit settings and you can just go home and you can hit continue and it'll you pick your state right where you are so you would go pick your state you pick your provider um and mine is not in here <laughs> which is kind of funny uh, cause I'm on the border of with New York state. So let's see if it's listed there. Uh, it's not. So my provider is not listed. Can't find your utility provider, right? So let's do that. Let's say, let's say I'm going to pick New Jersey and I'm going to say, can't find more options. Custom rate plan, enter your rate plan manually. So you have a lot of flexibility here to put this all in. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I guess if you can't find your utility provider, that's where you go to more options. Okay. But I'm just going to hit set, set up later for now. Uh, and it tells you here your, your amount, and then you can save it. You can put in your custom rate. I can do the same thing for, if I keep backing out for the other, it's the same thing. It's going to take me through, um, how much do you pay to charge at other locations? Save. Oh, that was other. Okay. I see that it went right into it. So that's basically how it works. Now, what I notice is you can't stop on another day when I let go of my finger. Oh no, it let me stop that time. So there you go. I don't know why it didn't, it keeps going back. Sometimes it goes back. Sometimes it stops. Maybe if you, interesting. I wonder how you get it. I got it to stop. Well, I guess if you pick a day and then maybe, I don't know. I had it stopped a minute ago. You saw it on the screen. I'm trying to figure it out for everybody. So if I pick a day, no, I guess you can't. Maybe I got locked up oh, there. It's, it's this did it. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, so that's how it works. That's how, you know, you go through. Oh, 
And just to let you know, I am on my car is on update 2021.44.30.11, which is compatible with this. And my app, it's Android, and my Android app is version 4.5.1-864. So basically that's it. So I'm gonna come back and give you my wrap up, tell you what I think of it, and if it's if it's pretty good or not. So all in all, I think it's a very useful app. It shows you, it basically lets you keep charge of what you're actually spending. Um, you can customize it, which I really like, which I plan to do. I'm going to go, you know, get my bills. I just downloaded it and I wanted to, you know, make a video to show you guys uh, exactly how it works and what it's like because I've heard that it was on iPhones, but it wasn't on a lot of uh, uh, Android and it did just come out. I literally just updated it. Also, I know even if you have the latest update in an iPhone, if your car doesn't have a certain update. So there's a lot of people who haven't seen this. I wanted to demo it. I think it's really good. I love that you can customize it. Um, so yeah, it's a great, great update. Um, thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. And thanks. I'll see you next time.